Hey, and welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'll be showing you something, um, a phone that is what, what I believe is a really special phone and played a major part in the history of smartphones and phones in general. It's the world's first water resistant smartphone. Now it's not the world's first water resistant phone, the world's first water resistant phone without a rating, uh, the first of the first, is this the uh, Benefone Escape from, I believe, 1998. It's more of like a satellite phone kind of thing, but it did have a water resistant coating and it could take a splash or two. Um, it's the company is now called Twig or something. Uh, it's no longer Benefone uh, and they still do make uh, satellite phones and all that stuff. But that was the, 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 the earliest uh, phone that I can find with the water resistance um, and the resistance to water in general. <clears throat> The first IP rated water resistant phone is this, the uh, Sonium XP3 Enduro. Uh, this is from, I believe 2006 or something, I can't remember. Um, this thing uh, came with an IP67 uh, rating, but as you can see, those were just normal phones. They were not touchscreen, they were just normal dumb phones. The Motorola DeFi, what I have here, is the world's first water resistant smartphone with a touch screen and it runs Android. Um, a lot of people think that the first water resistance phone is the uh, Sony Xperia X because it was really popular. That's not true. A lot of websites also misled a lot of people saying Sony made the world's first water resistant phone. No, that's not true at all. This thing predates the uh, Xperia Z because um, the Xperia Z is usually considered to be the first water resistant phone. This thing is from 2010 and I believe the Xperia Z was from 2000. 12 or 13, 13, yeah, 2013, was it 14? I can't remember, I'll put it up on screen. Um, this thing predates the Xperia Z. Um, and I understand why people all went for the Xperia Z and not this. This was available in the US only, as I remember. And this phone is not pretty. It does not look the nicest. Uh, the Xperia Z, on the other hand, is a really good looking phone. Um, it had a glass back and all that stuff. This thing is not that nice. It looks really rugged. It is It is meant to be rugged, so um, it is what it is. That's why a lot of people uh, didn't, uh, didn't buy this phone. And it was available in the US only. It was more of a niche kind of thing. Um, they all, a lot of pro product reviews call it a uh, niche at the time, but now water resistance is a mandatory, almost mandatory thing. What has he, how? How has he pasted that thing to the body of the box? Um, boy. So this is not from my usual sellers. This is from a different seller. He's kind of, this is kind of how Apple packages their phones. They kind of paste it to the bottom of the box. It's pretty interesting. Apple does this. They, well, in a more, uh, more presentable fashion, not like that. So here's the phone, it's pretty tiny. Um, never seen one of these in real life, never held one. This is the first time for me as well. Um, let's get this open. I don't wanna rip the bubble wrap too much because uh, I can reuse it. Okay, finally got my hands on the Motorola DeFi. So looks a bit like an Atrix up front. Um, smaller than the Atrix, it's very, it's pretty, pretty small phone. All the rubber seals are still there. The headphone rubber seal. That's like Motorola had a sticker up front. I watched some old unboxing videos. Motorola had a sticker up front saying the water resistant is only applicable when these rubber seals are perfectly closed. The rubber is still intact. Well, this is more of a plasticized rubber. Um, well, rubber, rubberized plastic. Um, this phone does work. It has a latch mechanism here at the back that uh, locks the battery bay, which makes it waterproof. Um, once came with a two gig SD card, the card's no longer there. The water mar the, uh, the water indicator has gone off, but I doubt it's water damage because it works apparently. Um, <clears throat> this thing, locking this is apparently pretty hard. How do you, how do you lock this? Um, also, um, um, oh, you put it to that side and then you push it like that. Okay. Oh, no. How do you, how do you do that? Um, oh, that's lock. 
and okay there we go now it's locked um i'm not gonna be putting this in water it's been a long time since this phone uh this phone is really old so there's no way in hell i'm putting this in water because it works and i don't want to break it um the battery is the battery seems to be dead let me get micro usb charging port here charging cable here how oh okay let's see if it turns on okay so um this is running i believe froyo um, i'll put it up on screen i can't really remember Okay, so when I turn this thing on, it turns out this thing has your jolly good old Moto Blur issue where you can't create an account, neither can you log into an account. Um, it's not because of the age. Even back then, Moto Blur was that bad, hence why Motorola canceled it. It was basically their uh, extra services thing. And you'll see in a minute that you can't bypass it without a SIM card. And you need a SIM card and still you can't bypass it even if you had or didn't have the SIM card um especially on the motorola defi the um other phones like the motorola atrix there is a way to bypass it using a special boot menu um but this thing there's no way to bypass it so we're stuck to it the only way i can bypass this is by flashing the firmware to a different firmware and i'll do that in a different video i don't want to waste time here uh, but that means i can't show you the software it's because uh, this motorola uh, blur is in the way but anyway, it's not about the software on this phone. It's all about the, the water-resistant hardware. Um, oh, there it is. You're, you can't really do anything. You can only have an emergency call, but that's it. You need to put a SIM card, and even if you do put a SIM card, the Moto Blur account will not work. You can't log into your existing account. You can't create a new account. It just It's just a mess on its own. So I'll shut that thing off. It's just Android 2.2 Froyo. Or is it running Eclair? Uh, this phone shipped with Eclair and was upgradable to Froyo. Um, so just a single update, Eclair to Froyo, but you know how, the, it's just basic Android. At the core of this phone, it's just a basic Android phone. It's just, its niche feature was this uh, water resistance. So we got a flap here, lifts off the cover. I believe it used to have rubberized seals on the side, but now it doesn't. Um, it's a rubberized cover as well. We got a BF5X battery, 1,500 milliamp hours. You can see 1500 milliamp uh, basic battery of its time um, inside the phone micro SD card slot full-size sim card uh, I don't know when was the last time I saw one of those in a working phone I have them all over the place uh, to like basically use them for phones that require sim cards to work uh, even though the sim card doesn't work they just need one in their sim card slot but I still have a bunch of those old full-size sim cards around um, the water indicator has gone off, but that it, this phone is not water damaged. That just probably some moisture or something. Um, the camera also has like a rubber seal around it. So does the flash. Um, not a lot of rubber seal on the back. I'm pretty sure the sides and all, in, in, like between the mid frame, there is a lot of rubber sealing, but I don't see much on the back. So the sides are all screwed down. This side screwed down too. One screw at the bottom, none at the top. We got the... Uh, we got the headphone jack flap there, power button. We got the uh, volume rockers on this side and we got the uh, micro USB flap. So funny thing, let me show you. Sony also used their flaps in newer phones. This is an M2 Aqua, which was also once waterproof, uh, well, water resistant. Um, and I can see why people went for the Sony's because they were more slick and well-designed and everyone thought Sony made the first water resistant phones. But actually, it was Motorola who did it. Um, but I can see why people went for the Sony's because they were way, way better looking. But they're not as great as build as the Motorola. The Motorola's flaps and stuff are still in place. The Sony's, the flaps are basically falling off. This one surprisingly has a few of its, well, it does have its flaps. Um, this phone was once water damaged. But see, the, the bottom half is gone. This, this flap-like thing, that's gone. Um, the bodies weren't really well built. The flaps used to fall off and stuff. This thing still has its stuff. So it's a better built phone, but it looks so rugged. I'm pretty sure people didn't like it because of its rugged look. Um, it was sold in very few numbers. Um, and it's a really tiny phone as well, if you can see. Let me bring my iPhone 12 Pro Max here. Um, as you can see, the DeFi is really, really tiny. 
um let's bring in a phone from its era it's i think this is a few years later the motorola droid x this is a more premium phone than the DeFi, uh the droid lineup uh again quite a small phone even by uh 2010 standards the um uh, i can show you the atrix but i just don't want to get it it's identical to the atrix up front uh but it's way smaller um the back also like i sh already showed you is there anything else that i want to show you so how this thing works is basically you put the battery like that and then to latch this thing you got to put put it firmly down like that hold it down and then slide the lock slide the lock like that to the right but i'm pretty sure something is missing because i can see the battery through there so something on this cover is indeed missing um but I'm not gonna put this in water. This phone is extremely rare and extremely rare to find in working condition as well. Because like I said, it was a niche thing. Not, and man, not many people ended up buying this phone because of its rugged look and stuff. But nevertheless, it is the world's first water resistant smartphone. Um, I'll try and get my hands on a Benefone Escape and a Sony XP3. The Benefone Escape is one of the rarest phones on earth. There's like one on eBay uh, from Switzerland, I think and um <clears throat> it's pretty it's it's pretty hard to find um but it is the uh world's um first water resistant phone and then comes the sony xp3 which was the first to get an ip uh, rating and this is the world's first water resistant smartphone so yeah there's nothing much else i can say about this phone um i will flash the firmware on this phone and bypass moto blur for another video but until then, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. And this was the world's first water-resistant smartphone. Thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in my next video.